Hello, this lesson is on solving polynomial inequalities and uh, the way we traditionally uh, solve polynomial inequalities is we want to see them in factored form and compare it with zero. If you have a polynomial inequalities where it goes like less than or greater than a number other than zero, it is actually not going to work, you're going to have to rewrite that. Uh, the approach is going to be this. So let's take a look at this easy one. This is actually a quadratic one. So the first thing we do is we set it equal to zero. So I identify what makes each one of the factors that you use here zero. So we know x is going to be one and x is going to be negative two, right? You set x minus one equals zero and you set x plus two equals zero and that's what you're going to get. So these are our points that we're going to have to plot on the number line. So draw a number line. We plot negative two, we plot one. These are the only two points that we're going to care about. So what is our next step? Our next step is, when you do this, is you are going to pick a number from each interval. And when you pick a number, you can be any number you want. And then what you do is you're going to substitute that number in here. And you're going to see what the sign is. You don't actually care about the value. So for on this interval, for example, I can pick negative three, right? On this interval, I could use zero. And in this interval, I can use two. I'm going to put question marks here because those are not necessarily the numbers you have to use, but they seem like nice numbers and I can actually use them. You cannot use the bound these two points. They're not allowed. So what happens when you use negative three? Negative three minus one gives you negative. Negative three plus two gives you negative. You multiply negative by negative, you're going to get a plus. Zero. 0 minus 1 is negative, 0 plus 2 is positive, negative times positive is negative. And 2, 2 minus 1 is positive, 2 plus 2 is positive, all positive, positive here. So what are we looking for? We're looking for that to be less than 0, strictly less than 0, so we're going to be between these two numbers. Our answer here is going to be from negative 2 to 1, and that's it. Please be sure to write parentheses because it has to be open. Next one. So I think you understand there will be two numbers here. There's going to be x equals 3 halves and it's going to be x equals 4. So we'll make our number line, plot those two points. So 3 halves is less than 4. And we're going to need to pick a couple of points. I mean, I'm sorry, three points here. So what's good here? Well, let's just use 0 because it's a very nice number to use. 3 halves about 1.5, we can use like 2 here, and here we can use 5. So what we do is pretty simple math, again remember we don't care about the actual value that we're getting, we only want to know the sign. So from 0, 2 times 0 is 0 minus 3 gives you negative, 4 minus 0 gives you positive, you are going to have a negative sign here. 2, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3 is 1 positive. 4 minus 2 is positive, positive here. 5, 2 times 5 is 10 minus 3 positive, 4 minus 5 is negative, so positive times negative is negative. Okay. So we're looking for that to be less than or equal to 0, which means we're going to include the boundary point. So where is that happening? To the left of 3 halves and to the right of 4. So our answer here is, is going to be from negative infinity to 3 halves because it's less than or equal to, we're going to include that union and it's going to go from 4 to infinity. Okay, That's basically the concept and that doesn't matter what degree you're going to have, it's the same thing that you do. Let's take a look at this. You should be able to re recognize there will be three numbers here. You're going to have 3, we're going to have negative 2, and we're going to have 7. These are the values that make uh, each one of these factors zero. So we're going to have three points. That means four intervals. Negative two, three, seven. Don't worry about spacing them properly. It is not what we're trying to do here. So we're going to pick a point from each. Let's use negative three here. Let's use zero here. Let's use four here. And let's use eight. All we care is uh, 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 signs. So with negative three, you're going to get negative here negative here and negative here. Three negatives. Negative times negative times negative will give you negative. Okay, zero. Negative here, positive here, 
and negative here. Negative times positive times negative is positive. 4. 4 minus 3 is positive. 4 plus 2 is positive. 4 minus 7 is negative. Positive times positive times negative is negative. 8. 8 minus 3 is positive. 8 plus 2 is positive. 8 minus 7 is positive. All positives will have positive sign. Okay? You see the three intervals, I'm sorry, the two intervals where it's positive, and we are going to write that. It says greater than or equal to, which means that we include the boundary points. So it's going to be from negative 2 to 3, along with 7 to infinity. Okay? Let's do this one. So what do we have here? We have 5 halves. We have 1 and we have negative 3. Our number line, negative number here, uh, 1 goes here and 5 halves goes there. Right? Pick points, it doesn't matter what you're picking as long as it's a number on a particular interval. Negative 4 is going to be good here, 0 is good here. Uh, this is, we can use 2 here and here we can use 3. Again, all we're trying to figure out is the signs. And let's see. So, uh, when you use negative 4, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, negative 5, that's negative. 1 minus negative 4 is positive. And this one's negative 4 plus 3 is uh, negative. So, you have negative, positive, negative. That is actually going to be a plus. 0. That's going to give you negative, that's going to give you positive, and that's going to give you... Um, hold on a second. Did I make a mistake? No, I don't think so. Uh, if you plug in zero, that's negative. That one's going to be positive, and this one's positive. So you're going to have negative here. Two. Two times two is four minus five, negative. That one is going to be one minus two, negative. And this one's positive, so negative, negative, positive, positive. And finally here. We have 3, that's going to be positive, that's going to be negative, that's going to be positive, so negative. Okay, so what we are going to have here is our answer is going to be, from, we're looking for less than 0, open, so it's going to be from negative 3 to 1, and along with 5 halves to 3. All right, moving on. Uh, one thing you probably noticed is it looks like signs alternate. Is that going to be the case? Uh, yes and no. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have 2, we have 4, and we have negative 1. I think we can move a little bit faster now since we're beginning to get that. Okay, so we're picking numbers on each interval. Uh, one thing I want to point out is x plus 1 squared is always going to be positive. So here, if you pick negative 3, that's going to be negative. That's going to be negative. That's what's always positive. So negative, negative, positive is positive. Here, 0, for example. Negative, negative, positive. So still positive. Between 2 and 4, 3, for example positive, negative, positive, so negative, and here, 5, positive, positive, positive. Okay, so the answer here is going to be just between 2 and 4, closed interval, so close bracket. So what happened here, you have uh, what they call a double zero, so when you cross a double zero, it's going to stay the same. Uh, example 6, our values are going to be negative 5 halves, 1, and 5. So negative 5 halves, 1, and 5. Doing the same thing, we're picking points on each interval, and we're trying to see what the sign is going to be. So here, we can use, for example, negative 3. So that one's going to be negative. That one is going to be negative, and odd power is still negative. And this one's going to be negative, but you're squaring it so it's positive. So we have negative, negative, positive. It's going to be plus here. Here, we can use zero, for example. This one's positive. 
this one's negative to the third power is negative this one's negative but to the second power is positive so we have positive negative positive that's going to be a minus right plus minus so here we're going to pick a number let's say two that's positive that's positive cubit also positive and that's still positive so this one's going to be a plus and when we cross five positive positive and this one's positive so this one's also positive again we cross double zero it's positive we want it to be greater than zero need to be careful here when you write this so it's going to be on the interval from negative infinity to negative three it's it's an open interval so at five it's going to equal zero we're going to have to skip five so it's going to be from one to two along with from uh, I'm sorry from so from one to five my apologies from one to five and then from five to infinity can combine them because it says strictly greater than zero okay we have a couple more examples I think we are beginning to get how this works one uh, here you're gonna have to solve this equation this is actually gonna give you x minus three times x plus three that is two more numbers that's three and negative three and finally x equals negative half so that's a total of four numbers negative three negative half one and three so let's be careful let's pick a number in each interval so here we're going to have a number we're going to plug in let's say negative four so this one's negative to the third power is still negative this one negative four squared that's going to give us positive and that one's going to give us uh, a negative so negative positive negative gives us negative here we can use uh, let's say negative two for example this one's negative cubed still negative this one's negative four squared minus nine will give you negative and this one's going to be negative right hold on a second let me check so negative two minus one that's negative cube still negative over here we're going to have negative two that's negative four uh, that's four four minus nine is negative so that's another negative and uh, we're going to get a negative there as well actually I think let me check this again so negative two this one's negative positive no I'm sorry it was using negative four this one's supposed to be plus because you get negative here with negative four negative here and positive here right oh, no. I think we're getting I'm getting myself confused so let's let's uh, slow down for a moment. So negative two, negative two minus one is negative three. Cube negative uh, negative two squared is four minus nine negative. Two times that's negative four. So negative 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 is negative. Here we're going with negative two. So it is going to be oh I can't use negative two here. I'm using negative four. That's why mistake. So this one's negative, this one's actually positive, and this one's negative, so that's plus. Negative two will give us minus. Pick a number here, zero. Zero minus one, negative. Cube still negative. This one's negative, and this one's positive. Negative, negative, positive. It's positive. From one to three, let's use two. This one's gonna be uh, positive. This one's negative, and this one's positive. So that's a minus. And over here you're going to end up getting a plus okay so we're looking for greater than zero where is this happening on the interval from negative infinity to negative three also on the interval from negative one half to one and also on the interval from three to infinity okay last problem here we're going to wrap this up so we have numbers negative three we have four this here does not have any real solutions which means we do not bother with that okay because x squared plus three is always going to be greater than zero and we actually means we don't even have to worry about this so our number line 
we only have two numbers to worry about. Right? And uh, let's figure out the signs. So if we use a number here, let's say negative 4. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative. 4 minus negative 4 is positive. So negative positive, this one's positive. So it's going to be negative. Okay? Between 3 and 4, we can use 0. Positive, positive, positive. So positive. And we're going above 4. Let's so say 5. Positive, negative. 4 minus 5 is negative and positive, so we get negative here. We want it to be less than or equal to zero, so where is this happening? It's going to happen from negative infinity to negative four closed. And we're also gonna go from four to infinity. Okay, and this is how it's done. Hope this helps.